This is part three, Tang, the first murderer, continued, of the series that I am doing, Murderers and Shooters. Now, this part comes from Genesis 4, verses 8 and 9. Verse 8 reads, Now Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother and killed him now in this verse god did give cain a way of an ex, of, a way of escape you know when he was talking to him he didn't have to go through and kill him but as we know cain chose not to take that route now being this was the first murder um animals you know prior to animals were the only thing being killed so Cain killed Abel like an animal, like an animal killed for a sacrifice. Now, according to Miriam Webster, one of the definitions of victim is, quote, a living being sacrificed to a deity or in the performance of a religious rite, end quote. Now, if you notice in any of my videos or when I'm, um, my posts that I write out, I will never call someone that has been shot or murdered. I will never call them a victim. You know, I'll say someone that has been shot or I will just say uh, murdery. And I believe it's in Merriam-Webster dictionary that murdery is a word. If it's not Merriam-Webster dictionary, it's dictionary.com. But uh, yes, that is a word. So, Verse 9 reads, Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel your brother? He said, I do, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? Now in this verse, God gave Cain the chance to confess and start over. But he refused. He chose to lie to God. And me, I'm like, really, dude? You really think you can hide what you do from God? And the thing is, we all fall to that. You know, we think we can do something or, you know, we might not be thinking. Um, Like, I guess at the moment, be like, oh, we go do this. And we're not thinking that God is watching. God sees. We, he, we can't hide what we do from God, good or bad. And so for me, I just thank God for this conviction you know, of this that, um, you know, if I, you know, when I do something, of course, we all see it, you know, but um, I really think about God watching me. But um, anywho, moving on. Now, a word to the murderers and shooters. I'm talking about these ones out here in the 757, Chicago, and uh, Richmond, and um, places God gave me to pray for Louisiana you know New Orleans you know to y'all out here now a word for y'all God sees you God knows what you did God knows exactly where you are you cannot hide from him God is giving you the chance to confess I warn you I mean I warn you warn you warn you to not lie to God even if you got off due to some technicality or witness not showing up or whatever, please know that justice has not been served and God is not pleased. You may be walking around here free, but trust and believe you are bound. You are incarcerated in the spirit. Satan has you bound, but is deceiving you by thinking you aren't going to get caught or that you are good because you got off due to some technicality or mistake made by the lawyer, the judge, the police officer, etc., etc. This is not mercy. This is not mercy. This is not God mercy's life. God's giving you mercy, giving you another chance because when it comes to murder, um it's um I can't remember the scripture. I talked about it. But when it comes to murder, like, um, oh, I can't remember the scripture. When it comes to murder, like, if you do, if you kill somebody, your blood is for that person you kill. You need to be killed too. But we thank God for Jesus and we don't have that anymore. 
but there are um there is punishment for you that you have to serve to for that blood that you shed i hope that makes sense now uh where was i yeah okay you are out here living hell on earth thinking you are free you may you may not feel the wrath of god yet and that is because he is giving you time to do what is right, which is repent to God and turn yourself in. Now, we all need to understand and know that God will give us over to our sinful desires. In Romans 1 verses 28 through 32 talks about this. I'm going to read them real quick in the King James Version. Verse 28. And then, and I'm sorry, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind, to those things which are not fitting. Being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil mindedness, they are whisperers backbiters haters of god violent proud boasters inventors of evil things disobedient to parents undiscerning untrustworthy unloving unforgiving unmerciful in verse 32 who knowing the righteous judgment of god that those who practice such things are deserving of death not only do the same now verse 32 lets us know that if we come into agreement with these things listed that are being done by others we deserve the same punishment as those that do it so if we know somebody has went out here shot somebody killed somebody and we don't do nothing about it god is watching us we're going to have to answer to that now, just real quick, I'm going to read these same verses, Romans 1, 28 through 32 in the message version. Now, I love the message version because I call that my street version. So, I'm just going to read that and then part three will be done. Now, okay, again, Romans 1 through 28, I'm sorry, Romans 1, 28 through 32 in the message version. Since they didn't bother to acknowledge God, God quit bothering them and let them run loose. And then all hell broke loose, rampant evil, grabbing and grasping, vicious backstabbing. They made life hell on earth with their envy, wanton killing, bickering and cheating. Look at them, mean-spirited, venomous, fork-tongued, God-bashers, bullies, swaggerers insufferable windbags they keep inventing new ways of wrecking lives they ditch their parents when they get in the way stupid slimy cruel cold-blooded and it's not that as if they don't know better they know perfectly well they're spitting in god's face and they don't care worse they hand out prizes to those who do the worst things best so that was part three came the first murderer genesis 4 verses 8 through 9 are the rest reference reference verses for this and i also read romans 1 verses 28 through 32 i read the king james version and i read the message version and i pray that this blesses you